Hello everyone, this is Seidai Tamura, an oil painter from the biggest little city in the world, originally from Tokyo, Japan. Welcome back to my channel. This is a process video of a piece that I've just recently completed and it's entitled Silver Chain. The dimension of it is 48 inches by 32 inches, painted with oil colors and on the masonite board. I normally paint on a canvas size ranges between 16 inches by 20 inches to 18 inches by 24 inches around that range. So this is a pretty good size canvas for me. The dimension of this drawing paper that I'm working on is 30 inches by 20 inches, which is exactly 1.6 times less than the final canvas size. The reason why I've decided to work on a smaller scale drawing is just simply because it's easier to work on a smaller drawing and I easily get to see overall effect of it. So I'm thinking of making four part videos to cover the whole process. This is the first part and part one is all about drawing. The second part will be about transferring this drawing over to a canvas which is a masonite board and the third part is about underpainting. It's called wash in this is the term I've learned from taking Tony Ryder's workshop. And in the fourth video, I'm going to talk about form painting or over painting. So I just like to take a moment to touch on the importance of drawing. The drawing is probably the most significant and crucial part of the whole process. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that a drawing process is more vital than a painting process. Now, if I say this, people would probably argue that every part, every process is just as important and that is true and I wholeheartedly agree to that. But I just want to put an extra emphasis on effort that we put on drawing because I often see a tendency that people are so eager to jump on painting but don't allocate enough time or focus on drawing. If you can get the drawing right, your painting will turn out like an angel at the end. If I were to make an analogy, drawing is like building a strong foundation for a house. If you had a solid foundation on which a house is built, the structure will be stable and will not crumble. Painting is just like that. No matter how beautifully your paints are laid, it wouldn't work if your drawing is off. This is especially true if you are pursuing realism. So as you can see, I'm employing a grid system to use it as a guide for my drawing. This is really a very practical way to find right tilts and angles for each element that I'm trying to render. What I mean is that because I have this 90 degree angle, straight horizontal, vertical lines all over my drawing surface, the guide is always right next to whatever elements that I'm drawing. Finally, I'd like to mention that the method I'm using separating drawing, underpainting, and overpainting into different stages is a pretty conventional way to work. However, every once in a while, I come across painters who do combine all these different stages all at once, simultaneously, which is for me an amazing feat to accomplish. But some artists have such a profound, solid understanding of drawing, they're able to pull off such a thing. I might be able to pull it off if I tried, but my temperament is more suited to separating each process and gradually work up to a final stage to complete a project. In the next video, I will talk about how I transfer this finished drawing over to a canvas. Thanks for watching and have a great day.